Top 10 Crazy Cat Ladies Cat ladies have been memed for years, and since then, no one has been able to take them seriously. Who could, though? Most of them are psychotic, forever alone ladies with an unhealthy obsession with cats and knitted sweaters. So who takes the whole kitty when it comes to Crazy Cat Lady? Hey guys, welcome to Furry Feline Facts, a perfect catalog of cat stats. In today's video, we're heading straight to Singles Night at the Vet with Top 10 Crazy Cat Ladies. If you're not already a follower of Furry Feline Facts, meow is the time to click the subscribe and notification bell. If you are, give yourself a round of a pause. Okay, enough kitten around. It's meow or never. Number 10. Hermione Granger Hermione Granger is one of the most loved characters in Harry Potter, and her cat is absolutely the cutest thing in the world, although she may be a little overprotective of him. Hermione doted on Crookshanks and refused to hear a bad word about him even though he constantly wanted to eat Ron's rat. But if you're not convinced Hermione is a crazy cat lady, remember she even accidentally turned herself into one when a cat's hair got into the polyjuice potion in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Meow. <laughs> Number 9. Florence Nightingale Social activist, nurse, statistician, and crazy cat lady? Yeah, that's right, Florence Nightingale, possibly one of the most heroic women in our history, was also a crazy cat lady. Over the course of her lifetime, Florence owned over 60 cats, and at one point she lived with 17 cute kitties. Despite her love for the fluffy felines, Florence did have some bad luck with her cats, as they would often run away from her. Once, while she was on a train, her cat Quiz jumped out of its basket and onto the train tracks. But Florence, being the celebrity she was, made hundreds of stationers look for Quiz. Clearly, Florence is a crazy cat lady. I mean, she stopped over 100 people from what they're doing just to find her lost kitty. <laughs> Number 8. Angela Martin Angela Martin from The Office is definitely one crazy cat lady. Don't believe me? Here are the facts. She had multiple cats, brought them to work, and even had security cameras set up at her house to watch them while she was working. She dumped Dwight over her cat and took great pleasure in dressing up her cats and taking odd photos of them in different locations. Definitely a crazy cat lady move. Angela even put her own life on the line to save her cat when there was a fire scare at the Dunder Mifflin office. Throwing her cat Bandit up to Oscar, who was in the roof, seemed like a good idea at the time. However, instead of catching Bandit, Oscar fell through the roof. <laughs> Number 7. Carol Baskin Hey all you cool cats and kittens, it's Carol Baskin, one of the biggest cat-loving basket cases out there. What can we say about Carol Baskin being a crazy cat lady? I mean, just look at her. She's constantly in tiger printed clothes, and her house is decorated top to toe in tiger prints and random cat merch. She's a self proclaimed big cat activist who stood up against Joe Exotic and was made famous by the Tiger King documentary on Netflix. Honestly, it's not even how Carol Baskin dresses, it's just the look on her face that tells me that she's a crazy cat lady. She just has those eyes, you know? I wonder if her cats know where her first husband is. <laughs> Number 6. Sandy Dennis Sandy Dennis was an actress who loved cats with her whole heart. Sandy had so many cats because she would take in stray cats from the bowels of Grand Central Terminal. When she first met Eric Roberts, she lived with 30 cats, but as their relationship developed, she collected even more cats, and one day Eric realized just how big that number had gotten. Sandy's cat collection grew to over 100 cats from 30 in just a few years, and pretty soon, Eric could no longer take it. He offered an ultimatum to Sandy. It was either him or cut the number of cats down to 10. It's an ultimatum that won't work on a crazy cat lady. Sandy chose the cats and broke up with Eric on the spot. <laughs> Number 5. Debbie from eHarmony Debbie is an online sensation who hilariously broke down in an eHarmony video while talking about her love of cats. You can see her voice get shaky and her eyes well up as she talks about cats and how much they mean to her. She explains how she hates the thought of cats not having a home and all she wants to do is take them in and love them. Debbie breaks down multiple times during her video and got absolutely trolled on the internet. Someone even made a song out of her video. Debbie just loves cats, and her crazy cat video definitely puts her in the category of being a crazy cat lady. <laughs> Number 4. Nano the Cat Person So this one is just a little bit strange. Nano is a Norwegian woman that believes she's a cat trapped in a woman's body. She identifies as a cat and claims that she's got incredible night vision as well as an uncontrollable urge to hiss at dogs when they pass by her. 
Multiple times people have tried to debunk her story, but she's stuck with it and carries on with her struggles as a cat trapped in a woman's body. My question is though, when it comes time for number two, does she poop in a litter box or a normal toilet? <laughs> number three, Eleanor Abernathy. You're probably wondering, who in the world is Eleanor Abernathy? But she is hands down one of the most famous crazy cat ladies of them all. She is the crazy cat lady from The Simpsons. You know, the one character with the strangly hair, ripped up dirty clothes, and the cats all over her. She's undoubtedly the ultimate crazy cat lady. I mean, she barely even speaks English. All she really does in The Simpsons is scream gibberish and throw her cats at passers-by. She's also a hoarder, another trademark for crazy cat ladies, and the origin story of her fall from grace is completely textbook. She was a doctor and a lawyer, and she was on top of the world, but as she got older, her life began to take a turn. The crazy cat lady began to burn out. She was struggling to keep on top of her busy schedule and started to enjoy a glass of wine with her one and only cat. It progressively got worse from there. One cat turned to two, one glass turned into a bottle, and the rest is incoherent history. <laughs> Number 2. Linnea Latanzio Linnea Latanzio lives on a six-acre property with over 1,000 cats. That's a lot of cat poop to clean up. But Linnea doesn't mind. She's a hardcore cat advocate rescuing cats from all over the U.S. who need new homes. She also runs a sanctuary for kitty cats with the slogan, No Cages, No Kill Sanctuary. So maybe she's just a woman who loves cats and not downright insane like our number one pick. <laughs> number one, Joe Exotic. Okay, yes, Joe Exotic isn't a woman, but he definitely ticks both boxes for being crazy and loving cats. Joe just can't get enough of big cats. And at his zoo's peak, he had over 200 tigers. He had exotic tigers, normal tigers, lions, basically any big cat breed under the sun. He even calls himself a gay, gun-carrying redneck with a mullet. And if you're saying that about yourself, then you must be some level of crazy. Just watching five minutes of Tiger King and you'll see how truly crazy Joe is. He's constantly blowing things up, shooting targets, cuddling tigers, and threatening to kill Carol Baskin. Joe is the craziest cat lady of them all. I mean, he hand feeds massive 300 pound tigers without any fear that they could turn on him at any moment. He truly seems to love them wholeheartedly. Or that could just be a cover for his money hungry motives. Who knows? But he definitely deserves to be named King of the Crazy Cat Ladies. This was the top 10 crazy cat ladies. If you're a cat person, don't be shy. Hit that like button and let us know in the comments which crazy cat lady we missed on our list. Also, make sure you subscribe to Furry Feline Facts, a perfect catalog of cat stats. And hit that notification bell to be sure you don't miss any of our possum content. See you next time!